Let's welcome to the show Los Angeles Police Department Detective. He's Jamie McBride. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for all your hard work in keeping people out there safe. So the argument is this could free up more police officers to work on violent crime, but then the, then the argument is it puts those providers in danger. What do you think? It absolutely does. In fact, they, they try, they're trying this model right now in San Francisco. And this year alone, on two separate incidents, these unarmed ambassadors were shot. And these are the same organization that's down in Los Angeles right now, patrolling the areas of Hollywood and Venice. Um, the only thing it's going to do, it's going to cause us to have an increase in cost for crime scene tape because we have to set up crime scene tape everywhere these ambassadors get shot. Uh, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, these calls turn violent quick and there's no way you can tell uh, what's violent and what's nonviolent. In fact, we have over 210 officers' names on our memorial wall and a lot of those names are calls that they went to they thought were nonviolent initially. You know, so here's the thing. The L.A. City Council has been in turmoil. President Biden has called for three L.A. City Council members to resign after they took part in a racist conversation caught on tape last year. And, sir, we've got breaking news. L.A. Council President Nuri Martinez has just resigned. So with all this, this decision-making and what's going on behind the scenes at the L.A. City Council, are you confident in, in sa the safety of the citizens of L.A. and the surrounding areas? Absolutely not. You know, first of all, that's the best news I've heard all day about Nuri Martinez stepping down. We don't need a hypocrite and a racist uh, running the city of Los Angeles. And the best way to reduce crime in Los Angeles is elect somebody like Rick Caruso as mayor. He's somebody who's going to go in, clean up City Hall, and also f start fighting crime. But, you know, we got a very unique uh, peek behind the curtain of our city leaders to see exactly how they are. And these are the same people making the decisions to put unarmed ambassadors out there, which is going to do nothing but cause uh, more crime to go up. It's going to be uh, clearly unsafe. I've been saying this for almost a year now. Don't come to Los Angeles. We can't keep you safe. And obviously, with leaders like Nuri Martinez, is, is point taken. Um, they're in, in it for themselves. They're not worried about public safety. Um, we need strong leadership. We need another chief. Uh, if we get Rick Crusoe, I hope we have another chief who can actually lead our department and fight crime instead of somebody who, quite frankly, has lost his spine two years ago uh, during 2020. Um, we need strong leadership here. Yeah, the ranking of the nation's most dangerous cities, California had 29 cities make the national list. We're talking San Bernardino, Oakland, Los Angeles. They rank high up there. It looked at the 182 biggest U.S. cities on crime risk, also natural disasters and other safety issues. So that doesn't look good for California at all. No, and this is the same leaders throughout California who are asking for defunding the police, and we saw how that went. Um, you know, and some of these city leaders now that they're up for re-election are saying they need more police to fight crime. Uh, again, this this uh, reimagining policing that the sheriff Villanueva talked about earlier in the segment is exactly right. Uh, it, it's all a joke. Uh, we need strong leadership to fight crime. We need officers that have the backing of, of their city leaders, and we don't need racists and, and hypocrites to, to lead the city. And you see exactly what happens. Crime goes up when you have people like Nuri Martinez in office. Jamie McBride, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to see you.